and welcome everybody to my channel once again um, it is now around about 5 30 in the afternoon on a Friday and I've just given her a good clean um, we haven't had a decent long trip in a while and uh, but before I continue with my uh, what I believe will become eventually a choice breakfast run um, I just want to give you a quick uh, follow-up and development on what's taken place with this motorcycle I went first um, the transaction took place when I exchanged my MC for this bike. Uh, a number of things uh, had to be done to this bike for it to uh, look and ride like it's riding at the moment. Um, I just want to mention a couple of things that I've done to it since I bought it. It had 32,000 kilometers on the clock. And um, the one thing that I did notice was the sticker on this side was missing on the tank. And uh, believe it or not, a small item like that can cost quite a bundle, especially if you have to import it from Japan. Because the spare shops here, Honda, the dealers, didn't have it. And to have one manufactured to the same specs was literally impossible. Uh, but first, let me welcome the newcomers to this channel. Uh, this is a, a channel that uh, revolves around anything exciting, from motorcycles to aircraft to uh, cities anything that is worthy of placing on YouTube so welcome and please like and subscribe my channel so I can continue bringing this kind of content content to you but let's continue with the CBF 600 uh, this is actually a 2012 model initially I thought it was a 2013 but eventually I got to find out it was a 2012 nonetheless uh, another thing that I had to do uh, or let's rather say uh, that I haven't yet done and that was change this little seal over there I've left that it hasn't bothered me at all uh, there's no issues uh, I'm just going to continue riding like that until it becomes a problem uh, I thought that would be something I'd do straight away not at all the first thing that I actually did was the sticker over there and then uh, of course the chain had to be done as much as the chain was in a good condition the uh, it was very stretched and as you'll see here this is brand new and it's gold uh, I opted for a different color just to be different because of uh, the previous chain was just a normal color so uh, what, what do I want to say with this uh, okay so let's continue with what else other modifications I've made and other things that I've had to do I've had to put new rubber on um, these 180s 55 17s were exactly the same tires that I had on before bat laxes uh, the compound is pretty hard it's, it's it's a medium let's I, I, I think it's a medium compound it's not soft it's not hard but I'd rather have that so it lasts longer uh, they're probably better tires out there but you know uh, this day and age price is always something one has to consider uh, the other thing that I did do uh, uh, eventually was disconnect and bypass the switcher for the stand uh, because this has got a switch down here which apparently was damaged during a fall that the motorcycle suffered um, prior to my me owning it and um, there aren't any evident uh, there isn't any evident damage to the motorcycle other than the fact that the sticker wasn't here um, otherwise if there was a paint job done it's been done pretty good uh, the other thing I did do uh, was change the exhaust if you go back into or if you go look at all the normal cbfs uh, this is not the, the exhaust that the bike comes with uh, it's been decat not something that you would do uh, in europe i don't think this is even allowed overseas um, and it does make quite a lot of noise um, i think the more you rev it the silent the more silent it goes for some reason it has a aperture with uh, I don't know if you can see inside I'm gonna try and create some there there, there you go apparently those you can close and open to uh, create a little bit more back pressure I'm sure you can see that on 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 the screen there are four it's like a star formation that you pull out to create a bit more back pressure which is something that I certainly was looking for when I made the modification uh, the other thing that I did notice when I got the bike was that the discs or the brake brake pads or shoes were uh, pads rather 
we were still in good nick. In fact, they were new. And as a result, I had an idea and I started applying too much pressure, uh, not knowing that they were new and causing the kind of damage that you see on the disc, which is not serious, but that was not on there initially. So let's just say the bike uh, was serviced. I changed the oil. I changed the oil filter. Uh, this hooter is pretty pathetic, you can hardly hear it. Uh, the pads in the front were good, the, the discs, discs are good, and I replaced a lamp on the right side, I think it is, which is the normal one. The bright still works, or vice versa, I can't remember to be honest. Anyway, but this to say that uh, we're ready, I have gave, gave it a good clean again, and with 38,000 on the clock, I think 32. It's almost 6,000 kilometers in the few months that I've had it. I've ridden it long enough and far enough to uh, be able to confidently say that this motor motorcycle is definitely underrated, just like the NC was. In fact, um, I think Hondas are underrated as a whole. Uh, it's particularly the new models because they are not as racy as these older ones are, uh, especially the parallel twins, the uh, the... Africa Twin, the Africa Twin is 1100, so you got to, there's a little bit of power there, there's no doubt about it, but compared to what Honda used to make, they're nothing uh, like they were. I mean, the six-cylinder CB1000 that I, CBX that I saw recently, I'm going to try and put a photo of it here somewhere on the, on, on the screen for you to see. That motorcycle was not just uh, beautiful to look at, but it sounded fantastic, and that six-cylinder was out of this world but anyway uh, honda continues to make good motorcycles i will continue with my uh, search for the vfr because that is my my ultimate motorcycle i cannot wait till i own one of those again and um because it is a slight it, it is a bigger motorcycle than this one this is a mini a sports tourer some of them come with the with the bags on the back i personally prefer it like this I think the handling of the 600 is pretty good compared to a litre bike. Uh, so in traffic, this this is uh, this is probably the better bike to have, no doubt about it. It's not heavy at all, although it does weigh some. I think it's 214 kilos. I'll 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 jot down the correct uh, weight of this motorcycle. Wet. Uh, the one thing I do not like very much is this front. Um, I mean, it looks like a Hornet, okay? We know this is a Hornet-based motorcycle from the chassis to the engine, the brakes. There's very, very little uh, or from the CBR other than the engine itself, D-rated. But from the front, doesn't look like anything. But from the side, all of a sudden, it takes on a different look altogether and it becomes a pretty motorcycle. Anyway, I'm going to cut it short here and what we'll do is I will bring you the rest of the footage tomorrow when my friend and I go and have a break somewhere in South Africa and hopefully we'll avoid all potholes. <laughs> We've had terrible uh, rains in, in, in the country and as a result uh, it's exacerbated the already uh, problematic situation that we have. But yeah, looking forward to taking uh, places and I will bring you the rest of the information. Like I said, thank you for coming on board and I hope you like this quick review as we move along to the next session. See you, see you on the other side.